Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Ronson D Light Junior Sport model. I believe it still has its original leather, though there are a couple of raised areas around the monogram spot here on the front and here on the back also another one down here at the bottom it does show scuffs, scratches, dings wear to the leather some plating loss, damage to the fill screw and flint spring screw it is marked Ronson US patent RE number 19023 up there at the top it says Canada patents then Art Metal Works, Newark, New Jersey, USA. As I said, you can see the wear, dings, but it does appear to retain most of its plating. According to the Toledo Bend VCL site, these D-Lite Junior Sport models were made starting in 1928 and I don't believe that this is the oldest model simply because of the thumb lever and maybe some other elements of the mechanism but I think that skeletonized thumb lever is the older of all the thumb levers you're going to see. I'm not sure how long it was used. I think it's the coolest of all of them. I'm not sure why. Maybe the sleek nature of it. This mechanism looks more like the typical mechanism that was used all the way up until the early 1950s and in the case of some models even further than that but the leather appears to be holding pretty good the adhesive appears to be doing its job other than those few areas there where it is kind of gapped up I bought this in a tray from behind the counter at a place called the rink in West Oklahoma City or maybe even Bethany I'm not sure what city limits that is in And it had green tarnish all over the plating here. I think a residual effect of moisture that had been retained by the leather and then tarnished over time. And I'll be looking to move this one on pretty quick simply because the leather does look good and I have no experience whatsoever trying to keep the leather on one of these. So I won't be using it a whole lot. Won't be putting it in my pocket. You may have seen the repair video for this lighter which the flint tube was obstructed with old, degraded, concreted 
dusty flint that we dug out of there. It was actually a pretty easy job. I did not overfill the lighter, at least when it comes to, you know, like fuel overflowing out of the fuel hole. But you can see that wick is still looks pretty wet to me. So while I may not have overfilled it, I filled it to the brim, which may be affecting some of the function. Which, as I mentioned, I would like to go ahead and move this lighter on, but if we have to, because of the fueling, make another video at a different time so that we can account for the fuel volatility, then I don't have any problem doing that. You can see where there is still some excess vapor as on that snuffer there. which feels as though it's been on fire at the moment. I don't know what would cause something like that unless it was looks like something actually got under there. That doesn't make any sense. But it's the same way here, so maybe it was just the way that it was the leather was worn or the pressure that was put upon it. Who knows, if this lighter was made in the 1930s, it might not have been properly used since that time. As good a condition as it is in, it wouldn't shock me, but it looks to me, or it seems to me that it's pretty obvious that at some point it was carried or used in a way to allow these I don't know, maybe some kind of, maybe the old adhesive, maybe, maybe it rusted underneath there. That's possible. I don't know. I doubt if it's possible for the adhesive itself to bubble up like that. But it displays nicely. And I don't know exactly how common these lighters are. People like to say that all Ronson petrol lighters are common, and that's just not true. The Debonair that I owned, that was not a common Ronson lighter. And I don't know that this one is either. Now, where the Debonair or the Hart, and maybe even the, was it a Regent Junior, the round one that I had? Those three are all at least scarce, if not rare. I don't know if this one would be in that same category. There aren't a lot of them listed on eBay. Still a fine looking, functioning petrol lighter. produced a long time ago. Until next time.